Hello and scale guys, Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we are here, boys, to go over some twabby goodness. Now, I know twab was a couple of days ago, but in the latest twab, if you haven't read it yet, there is a bunch of changes coming to PvP and weapon archetypes and everything. And one of the biggest changes that is going to be happening next season, or is just before next season, they haven't get really given us a release date, but these changes are going to happen. And the big changes to 180 scout rifles is going to be a thing. So I did a review on the Staccato, and I was like, these scout rifles need a buff. 180s, they've been like the worst scout rifles for God knows how long. Like, they've been the worst for pretty much since the start of D2. But they are going to be getting a big buff, which you'll see on the screen now. So right now, they will be increasing the body damage from 34 to 38 and crits will be gone from 54 to 60 meaning that these are going to be so much more reliable so they can two crit two body which is going to be really nice as a 180 or pm and one of the weapons that is going to be insane with this buff is going to be the god tier hung jury sr4 now i will definitely say there is some serious fomo with this because hung jury i'm pretty sure anyway is not obtainable anymore it's not in the loophole for nightfalls it might come back but you cannot obtain the hung jury anymore so for people who never got this or only new ah uh, tough cities you are stuck without getting this roll the hung jury itself though if you don't remember this gun you should this is the god tier weapon from d1 but the reason this one's so special compared to the other 180s is because this is one of the only 180s there's only two 180s okay there's the no feelings which is the raid uh, weapon from scourge of the past which is obviously sunset and then there's the hung jury that can roll with a little known perk as boxed breathing now i don't have boxed breathing so i am pissed but boxed breathing will basically let this reliably triple tap people which is going to be insane as a 180 RPM. Think of things like Luna's Hell or Not Forgotten back in the day when they were God Tier. They were 180s that could triple tap if you hit all your headshots. So, Hung Jury with Box Breeding is going to be just God Tier. And if you don't have it now, it's going to suck balls next season. But I do have a pretty good role anyway, and I'll showcase exactly what the Hung Jury is like. This is Explosive Payload, Rapid Hit. This is going to be really, really sweet as well for next season too, or whenever this changes come out. But yeah, the FOMO is going to be real for people without the Box Breeding. But we're going to showcase the Hung Jury in some PvP right now. So, without further ado, let's go to PvP repeat with the hung jury sr4 Alrighty, so we are going to be on uh, widow's court of course with the hung jury and this is where it'll obviously be a lot better explosive payload and everything as well and i just think that this weapon next season or whatever the changes do come this will be real sweet this is the hung jury by itself boys you can see it's a chonker it's beautiful Man, if this was anything like it used to be back in D1, oh, it would be the best scout rifle in the game. But yeah, the changes to 180s, it will make them a lot more viable. I think that definitely these sorts of weapons, you can see, they just struggled in terms of hat. Oh my god, of course it is there. But it did just struggle, generally speaking, in terms of time to kills and everything like that. You had to hit so many perfect headshots and everything. But now, I gotta just have to hit normal shots and everything. And when I get the body shots going, bro, come on, you're one shot. There we go. <laughs> he killed himself, I think. But next season, you will only have to hit the two crits and two body shots, which for some people might not like, but I honestly do think it's a good change to 180s because right now, they are by far and away and definitely is the worst scout rifles in the game. But you can see, if you get the right sort of engagements, actually not bad. And I ran out of ammo, bro. Bro, peek it again. Peek at you, peek at, peek at me. Peek at me, bro. Uh, we'll get this guy anyway. I'm just stopping these from getting heavy. And this is where scout rifles are just so dumb. You just sit here and you just keep firing away, boys. You keep firing away and there's nothing they can do. All right, there's a guy up here, though. He's just got to sit behind a wall. Bro, don't. This guy kills him. I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Boys, don't let us get heavy. No, don't let me get heavy. Don't let me get heavy. Don't let me. There we go. Look at the explosive rounds coming in clutch for me. What the? Oh, boy. Someone got freaking clapped by a cloud strike. Oh, that scared me a little bit. I'm not going to Oh, don't worry, bro. I'm cool, man. And you know what? This guy just glaved everyone out of him. What the hell is going on? This is such a weird game. Oh, come on, foes up here, though. We got him right now. Bro, screw you. <laughs> man thinks he's going to cloud strike my ass. But right, this is... Oh, we're going to absolutely stomp, though, boys. But this is where I mean the power of the scout rifles. Obviously, on this sort of map, it is just going to be real sweet. No! Where did he heal from? Oh, it was a different guy. Two different titans. Oh, my God. I got the assist. I thought it was just the one dude. And it's, like, it's literally like a clown car doppelganger sort of thing. It just appears out of nowhere. But you can definitely see that the scout rifle itself, it isn't bad or anything like that. And it's still going to be a four tap regardless. So... It's not exactly like it's going to be insanely better in terms of just uh, time to kill as compared to other uh, scout rifles. But that is what I'm talking about. Once this gets the box breeding and stuff like that, can I hit this guy? <gasps> Oh, he's a beast dick. Oh, he a beast dick. But yeah, you're still gonna have to fire the same amount of bullets and everything to kill people. The only reason I'm saying the FOMO is gonna be real with this one is that this is just one of those weapons that rolls with box breathing. Compared to the other pulse rifles in the or the other scout rifles in the game, there's no other scout rifles that can roll with box breathing like this. Bar the no feelings, which is sunset. So there's no other currently 
non sunsets uh, scout rifles that can roll with their box breeding. So that is why this is going to be super sweet next season. Like it's going to be pretty dope how much this can wreck out. Just being able to triple tap at any range is honestly god tier. Just for aiming in for it wasn't like 3.5 seconds or something. But yeah, the only other weapons that used to be able to triple tap at 180 RPM was legit. Just the uh, Luna's Hell and Not Forgotten. So regard obviously firing people that can get like a service revolver or freaking kill kit and stuff. And oh, there's a guy with a golden gun. There is a guy with a golden gun. Anyone help a brother out? He's got to rush me. He's got to rush me. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. <laughs> yep, yeah, I am using a shotgun in PvP. I'm freaking Widow's Guard. Oh, I'm so screwed. Yo, boys, can we just not freaking peek me like this? Huh. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I was going to say, if I don't get the kill, I'm going to be pissed. We are getting absolutely stomped right now. My good God. But I definitely will say that this weapon, it does feel nice, as I said. I think that it's uh, scare rifles in general. They have a real niche area, especially these 180s and stuff. Uh, can I get that guy? Thank you. But 180s definitely do have a niche area where they are super, super effective. And I just think that the buff will make them so much more viable. I think that, uh, oh no. Can I do this? Will this actually work? Will this work? Oh, bro, bro. bro. <laughs> it just didn't work. My teammate took him out. We'll take it, boys. Use my well if you want to. Oh, my good God. We're going to have to stomp. But I actually do think, though, the 180s, they've needed this buff for quite a while. As I said, these were definitely a scare rifle type. A scare rifle archetype that just didn't do well at all because you just got Don't caught by you. everything. Hey, Whoa, close freaking range. But now that this buff is coming into effect, it might actually make them viable. Now, I know scare rifle or pulse rifles at 340 RPM, they're still going to be absolutely cop and cheek. So I do understand that people might still go for those sorts of archetypes. But I do definitely think that this weapon, <laughs> it's going to be sweet next season. No, bro, you died for me. But it's going to be next next season when these changes are in like full effect. I think that... These things, um, they deserve it. 180 RPMs have been in the freaking dirt for so goddamn long. And there's someone here. Yo, bro, 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 bro. How is there no one here? What the hell? Well, this game is just about to end. I mean, we just got absolutely stomped right now. And freaking Widow Hordes everywhere. But we just literally got stomped. I mean, as I said, this old jury, though, it is actually good ass scare rifle. By the mode, still stuff. There was still four body as well, 200 RPM. But this one will give it the edge that I don't need a constant headshot. Two body shots, two crits. Next season, it's going to be pretty dope. And with the box breathing, as he said, triple topping, it's honestly going to be one of the best scout rifles to use. It's kind of a shame that it's not uh, used right now. But overall, what do we got? 20 pounds feet at 2.2 efficiency. That was just a really fast game because it got stumped. Well, that is it for me and the Hung Jury S or 4. As I said, this is just kind of a PSA on what this weapon is going to be like next season. Even this roll itself, this is going to be pretty dope, obviously, with the changes that are coming in. But it's more the fact that this can roll with that box breathing roll. So I think even with the adept versions you can get of this because this is a nightfall reward with the death versions and having box breathing this could honestly become insane with the right hands of course box breathing is a little bit of a time to proc but at range being able to triple tap at 180 rpm is gonna be nuts because as i said the only weapons at 180 that could actually triple tap without any extra like kills or any other modifiers really was the obviously luna's hell because two precision hits loaded the freaking magnificent hell and then you got the triple tap and obviously that was better up close and it was insane but this being at range and being able to do the same thing it's going to be pretty naughty. As I said, the No Feelings is the Scourge of the Past raid, uh, raid Scout. That was the only other one that could roll with, of course, Box Breathing. But that's Sunset. This is the only non-Sunset uh, Scout Rifle in the game that can roll with Box Breathing at 180 RPM. And it's got to be insane. Honestly, that will be an outlier, I think, altogether for long-range maps anyway. But the Hung Jury itself, this is definitely going to lead to a lot of FOMO. We just got to hope to good God that this comes back into the loop pool next season. Because right now... This is going to be sought after. This is like a PSA, boys. A PSA. It won the Hung Jury. Or if you have a box draw Hung Jury, it's got to be God tier next season. And if it does become available next season, the PSA is to grind out for a box breeding roll because it's going to be nutty in PvP. But regardless, if you like the video, trust like, I don't want to see more content. Subscribe for fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see the next collective in the next one.